everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenny and welcome back to my channel again. So, Jenny Wonderful Girl, which is my channel, and today I have a storybook to use, read to you, named the Mittens, adapted and illustrated by Jan Wright. Let's get started. So, here we go. The Mittens. Here go. So, once there was a boy named Nikki who wanted his new mittens made from wool as white as no. So actually, in this book, there's some pages over here. In this part, that they're telling us what will happen next. Okay. So at first, his grandmother. Baba did not want to knit white mittens. If you drop one in the snow, she warned, you'll never find it. But Nikki wanted snow white mittens, and finally, Baba made them. Page. After she finished, she said, when you come home first, I will see, I will look to see if you are safe and sound. Then, I will look to see if you still have your snow white mittens. So off Nikki went. And it wasn't long until one of his new mittens dropped in the snow and le was left behind. Choo 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 all the way to the tree and drop a mitten. A mole tried from tunneling along, discovered the mitten and burrowed and burrowed inside. It was cozy and warm and just the right size, so he decided to stay. There's the mole walking from here to there. He discovered the mitten. Tiny, tiny mole. Cute, right? A snowshoe rabbit came hopping by. He stopped from for a moment to admire his winter coat. It was then that he saw the mitten, and he wiggled in feet first. The mole didn't think there was room for both of them, but when he saw the, the rabbit's big kickers, he moved over. Cute little mole and the snowshoe rabbit. Ha, mittens getting stretched. Oh no. Next, a hedgehog came snuffling along. Having spent the day looking under what leaves for things to eat, he decided to move into the mitten and warm in himself. The mole, the rabbit, were bumped and jostled, but not being one to argue with someone covered with pickles, they made me. As soon as the hedgehog disappeared into the mitten, a big owl Attracted by the commotion, swooped down. When he decided to move in also, the mole, the rabbit, and the hedgehog grumbled. But when they saw the owl empty talons, they quickly left him in the gentleness. Well, up through the snow appeared a badger. His, he eyed the mitten and began to climb in. The mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, and the owl were not pleased. There, there was no room left, but when they saw his diggers, they gave him the thumb. Yes. It started snowing, but the animals were snug in the mitten. A, war, a waft of warm street rose in the air, and a fox trotting by stopped for an investigate. Just the sight of a cozy mitten made him feel drowsy. The fox poked the muzzle in. When the mole, the rabbit, and the hedgehog, the owl, and the badger saw his tiny, te his shiny teeth, they gave the fox lots of room. Oh, you see it? This is what's gonna happen. Mickey, the bear, saw Mickey sliding down. 
and he sat a minute after after this page and he want to go into the mitten. See that? Here comes the bear. A great bear lumbered by. He spined the mitten all plumped up, not being one to be left out the cold. He began to nose in his way. The animals were packed up as tightly as they could be. But what animal would argue with a bear? The mitten swelled and stretched. And it was pulled and pulled to as many times its size. But Baba's good knitting, knitting held fast. Ooh. Along came a meadow mouse, no bigger than an acorn. She wriggled into one space left that made herself comfortable on top of the great bear's nose. The bear tickled by... Oh, here's the picture of what happens next. The bear tickled by the mouse's whiskers, giving an enormous sneeze. Ah, 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 The force of the sneeze shot the mitten up into the sky and scattered the animals in all directions. Oh, good. On his way home, Mickey saw a white shape in the distance. It was the last mitten so hot it against the blue sky. So blue. As he ran to catch his snow white mittens, he saw Baba's face in the window. window. First, first, she looked to see if he was safe and sound, and then, he saw that he, he saw that he still had his new mittens. And look at that mitten is small because nothing went inside. And this one's so big because even a bear got inside, so the end. So hope you enjoy this story, the mitten and don't forget to subscribe my channel so you won't miss out any new videos I'm going to make. And so I'm going to make like a lot of different videos. I'm not going to only read books. So you better like read the title of the video, okay? So, bye!